Welcome to Interceptor Beyond Podcast. My name is Arthur, and today, as if you already read, we have Lords of Automont. Talk to Jake, a super cool dude. Recorded at Chelsea in Vienna, Austria, right outside of the venue, right after the gig. And man, it was fucking a fun recording. One of the best. You're in for a treat. Anyway, before we dive into our conversation, I'd like to remind you about our upcoming live talk show, The Interceptor Beyond Show, which takes place once a month at the Rennes Basel, and the next show is on August 12th, Saturday. It is a late night talk show, a conversation with the music industry pros, man. I'm gonna ask them funny stuff about their live play trivia games with them, and they don't win anything, you win. We have one episode online as a video, there's one as an audio, but there's a video, so you can watch it on YouTube and Spotify, and you get what I mean. All the rules are there, you get the idea. August 12th, Saturday at the Arena Basel. Come to the place, man, like hang out. It's gonna be fun. See you there. Also, don't forget to follow our podcast on Spotify, YouTube, or any other platform of your choice. Please take a moment to read our show on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Interceptor Beyond. All right, now let's talk. Jake. I am Jake Cavalier. Hey, Jake. How are you doing? We, we need to tell people that we're recording right after the show. You're tired. I'm fucked up because I was like having like, I don't know, four or five Guinnesses while waiting for you. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. No, 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 no. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. The show was amazing. Absolutely. You killed it. I think people really loved it. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from, we've from, we've been in this country for three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a long drive from which country? Italy. Yeah, uh, Ravenna. Ravenna for 10 hours. See, you say that like maybe you're from there. No, I'm not from there, but I already... <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm making research all the time. You know, like I talked to Natasha and she's like, yeah, sorry, we were, we were traveling for 10 hours. I was like, okay, 10 hours. Okay, I know that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Of course, I know your tour and I know that you like to uh, yeah. travel. Yes. So, yes. Intense. How not, are you no, feeling, no tense, man? No tense. No tense. No tense. But how are you feeling, <laughs> man? man? Because because the show was amazing. But how are you feeling? Ah, well, you know, tonight was kind of crazy because it came and went so fast, and uh, I had been hoping for this night since we started the band. You know, uh, I've been here with other bands, but I haven't been here with the Lords, and to not play here with the Lords was kind of like uh not an insult but like i questioned like well why don't people want us here really no one wants us here every time for 24 years we've been abandoned this is our first time here you know what's interesting uh you were uh recently on tour in europe mm -hmm. and you didn't come here and i posted wait wait, wait. i posted on instagram why 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 you go to austria and somebody i don't know who's in charge of instagram wait, 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 wait. a really hot girl Whoa, 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 wait, 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 and, and, and somebody on Instagram wrote immediately like, I'm sorry it didn't work out, and then this person deleted this comment immediately. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it just didn't, I, I, I realized that it just didn't work out, you know, like, like, so you tried coming here, I know, because I could see that you want to come here, but it just yeah. didn't work out. Yeah, 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 so many times, like I said, since... I mean, the last time I was here was at the arena, but 20, 2017. But it was a long time ago. A different band, you know? And then the time before that, I was here in 1991. Jesus. <laughs> uh, uh, we need, well, today is the day of history because it changed the <laughs> shit. It was a long time ago, yeah. Yeah, did it change much? Do, do you yeah. notice stuff? Or what do? What, for you. I said I've only been here for three hours. I, I need to see. I need to see for sure. What about people? Did they change? People are fucking great. I mean, I, I really like the fact that there's a, a nice diversity of rock and roll lovers tonight. This is this is nice. You know, it makes me happy that people want to dress up for rock and roll tonight. Friday night. Let's fucking do it. Right. Yeah. And uh, we need to give a shout out to Wild Evil oh, for he's... doing the post. Well, and he's responsible for getting us here. He really, really yeah? yeah. I didn't know who's our organizer. Yeah, he made phone calls. Like, every tour, I call him about six weeks in, in the booking, 
And then we say, yeah, no, yeah, no. And then it's always no. And then he's like, next year. I go, dude, I'm getting too fucking old. We got to get me here. So uh, finally we made it. But I really wanted to play with the trash bones or the staggers, but it didn't happen. Yeah, scheduling conflicts didn't work out. But at least you came here, you played live we're with here. Lords. We did it. And the people were so fucking amazing tonight. So people were amazing. It's it's nice to see that people want their rock and roll, you know? It makes me happy. It's like uh, this sweet, nice taste of rock and roll. You know, like uh, when we're talking about rock and roll, it's like the we're talking about probably the same thing with like the spirit of the rock and roll, you know? like Yeah, you know, well, for me, I mean, rock and roll starts with fucking uh, Robert Johnson. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and ends with what? Pink? <laughs> I'm making a joke. No, but you know what I mean? It just... <laughs> <laughs> and she just came here recently, uh, like full, st <laughs> full stadium, like whatever, like sold out, whatever. <laughs> yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> rock and rock and roll, man. Pink. That's, well, at least you said pink and not like, I don't know, Lil Uzi. How do you know what that is? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You need to watch TikTok to understand what it is. Oh, I know. I I, I think I'm too old for it, though. I, I feel like... Uh... Dude, if you're like older than 10, you're too old. Amen. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I asked my girlfriend, I go, should I be doing this thing? She's like, nah, don't worry about it. I'm like, okay. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, good to see you. We're having... We're having... What's your name? What's your name? I'm Isabella. Nice to meet you. So hey, much. Great job. Yeah. I think so. I'm just looking for friends. Oh, shit. Hi. We're, we're recording an interview. Can I listen? Down, but... I'm not going to say anything. If you have... But, but... You can sit here, but if you have some... Are you a fan of Lords? What's that? Are you a fan of uh, the this band of the Lords of the Ottoman? Oh, my God. I'm such a big groupie. <laughs> nice, dude. Dude, okay, okay, okay. She's a friend of a friend. Wait, 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 wait. Enough. Wait, 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 wait. This is uh, super awkward, I know, but look, you, you're allowed here to sit, to sit here. I'm not gonna make a sound. No, 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 no. If you have, if you have some inside questions that I don't know and internet doesn't know and you can ask, shout out. All right? Okay. So you have time to think. All right. So <laughs> the answer is 42. 42. Here you go. For, uh, you know, like when you have a number for a groupie, you know, 42 is a little bit of, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Anyways, let's come back to your band. You're funny. Rock and roll. That's what we were talking about, rock and roll originally. but uh, uh, Sex, drugs, and rock and roll. And then uh, Pink. Pink, yes. <laughs> uh, so your latest album came out like two years ago, something like this, as I remember. Yeah, but we just did a, like a live album uh, last year. Uh, recorded and uh, published at uh, Heavy Psych uh, Records. Yeah, everything. Yeah, they they just took eight albums. Yeah, I mean they took all of your albums and re-released them. They totally fucked up uh, my research. Gabe is funny as shit. Yeah, I'm like, hey, you know what? Yeah, I... Gabe is playing like for Black Rainbows. Yeah, yeah. and he he's he's so funny. He's like, Jake, we have to do all of the albums. I go, I only want to do three. He's like, no, all of the albums. I'm like, fuck, okay, 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 we'll do all of the albums. And he's like, yeah, okay. But it's uh, it's absolutely amazing. This, I mean, as I said, it fucks up the Spotify algorithm and my, right, my, right, right. Uh, but you know, the good thing is, is that he allowed me to re-release these albums the way I wanted them originally. With covers, mastering, or how do you want? Yeah, yeah, well, not only mastering, but uh, yeah, the covers of the albums, the gatefolds, colored vinyl, like special, really special for people. What didn't work out the first time? Well, I could go from album to album, you know? First one. The first one was not on vinyl. It was, oh, okay, it was, okay, it was okay. Sympathy, sympathy for the record industry, you know, this label? Yeah. Long Gone John, and he's like, nah, I'm just gonna do a quote unquote, I'm just gonna do a fucking CD. Like, all right. 2000, said, 2001 something like this. Yeah, we recorded it that early. Uh, so, I mean, that album is almost license free, right? After 25 years, it becomes public domain. No, 70 years plus the death of the artist, you have time. Yeah, some of, I, some I, of I, us are I, dead, not everybody. I know you want to be Robert Johnson to be in public domain, oh. but for, for, for that you need oh, to sell your... Or all the garage punk, you know, that everybody steals every day, all the fucking, all the bootleg labels that steal all the garage punk. 
You know, I just uh, had like a uh, half a month ago an interview with the Melvins. With with who? Melvins. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah, with I like the Melvins. The Melvins. <laughs> You know, after doing research, I realized I shouldn't ask about grunge at all, you know, like, like or Nirvana. So I didn't even ask them about Nirvana or grunge because everybody is asking that stuff because everybody has this opinion that somebody is stealing or whatever. Yeah, you know, right. The grunge is overused. Right now, it's like super hot, right? It's like it's came back. Do you feel that it came back, like the grunge? Yeah, like, like, at, well, in LA, for in example. LA, like like for children though, like yeah, exactly. you know, like except Walmart, for Zoomers, you know, Walmart, yeah. you know, yeah, they all walk around with their Nirvana shirts and stuff. Exactly, exactly. It came back, but in a super pop way, you know. What about what do you think about rock and roll as rock and roll? You know, like how did, how did it? No, how does it feel like right now? You know, if we compare it to grunge, which became like super popular, that even the kids wear it now. What about the classic rock and roll, Robert Johnson, music that you're playing at the moment? You know, what's the state of that? Man, you know, I, I sit every day with, with kids, right? Because I do tattoos, right? And I sit with yeah. kids every day and I, I try to, like, understand what they're listening to, you know? Like, what do you guys like? And they, every fucking kid says the same thing. I like a little bit of everything. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, well, I like rap, I like hip hop, and I like this and I like that. And I like EDM, but I don't like country. And I like grunge. You know what I mean? <laughs> and it's like, yeah, well, that's what the world is now. It's TikTok. You know, it's like fucking one minute videos of music come and go. You know what's funny? I just recently started to go into country music, like deep into Like it. Meryl Haggard or Hank Snow or what? Ha Hank Williams. Hank Williams. Okay. Hank Williams. And, but I got into the country because of Hank Williams the third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, right. Hank third. Yeah, I got a hit story. Yeah. Oh, you have a story with well, that? Not really a big story, but, uh, you know, I used to work for the Cramps, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stage okay. manager, guitarist, tech. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they were playing together. You want the story? Uh, if these, you want to tell. Man, everybody's guys. asking you the Cramps stories, but if you want to tell. Yeah, well, I, I never told them because I tell a few, but I don't tell them because out of respect for them, because when I work for them, they respect. Yeah, that. you said that. I respect their space, you know? Yes. Yes. That's. Uh, but, but no, this is funny. It has nothing to do with them personally. But, you know, the it was a festival and uh, the cramps were backlined, right? And I every night I have to put these giant uh, zebra skin rugs. One for Lux, one for Ivy. And you also have them here at the, yeah, yeah, the for show. Me, yeah, for the bass player and for the drummer. And I put them all up. Hank the third place, and he has the, the, the fucking crusty punk guy come and sing at the end, right? When they do the punk rock set. Yeah. And he fucking starts smashing his face with yeah, the microphone. Yeah. Totally hang. squirting everywhere. I'm like, motherfucker, you're getting blood all over. And glass. And, and they're like, oh, 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 we're sorry. And they're out there like cleaning it up before the show. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they were super nice. What's what I heard from Hank Third is like, 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 like super nice, but yeah, crazy. Yeah, no, 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 totally respectful, you know? Yeah, super respectful to fans and to people and everybody. But yeah. yeah. Crazy and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, okay, I'll just give you one, one more story just because it's fucking funny as shit. So, uh. Well, I think we're in like uh, Athens, Georgia or something, and uh, we're all on the bus. You know, I'm first in, last out, right? Because I work for the band. The band's on the bus. They're happy. We're getting ready to go. And somebody knocks on the door. He's the nephew of Hazel Atkins. And they're like, hey, uh, Hazel wants to come come onto the bus and say hello. He wants to do some dates with you. And the cramps are like, no, 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 don't let him on the fucking bus. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? He's like, no, he's this guy, he's like, you know, he carries guns and he does all this crazy shit. I'm like, all right, all right. So I'm like, go there. I'm like, no, the cramps aren't seeing anybody tonight, but it's just funny. Yeah, but it's this thing that happens all the time. It's just people don't know about it, but, but, but like, like that. Especially, especially in show business, what's called show business, music industry. There are many characters around. And you've seen a lot of stuff. I mean, you, probably you don't say lots of stuff. I mean, not only cramps, but everybody else. But yeah, it's just, it's just the way it is. Anyways, they're good people. No, really fucking great people. What, what about the new music? Okay, so you. So you said rock and roll. Yeah, 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 rock and roll. But rock and roll was it like in general? Like, what? I'm interested. Like. So you recorded the live album, right? The live music, right? Yeah, yeah, but we did it like BBC style, you know? So we recorded live in a studio. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, was there like live audience a little bit of that? 
Just us. You know, I, I hate these fucking albums. I mean, I mean, there's like, what, two or three that are good, like Live at Budokan, right? Cheap Trick. I mean, what, you want, like... You mean Live? Yeah, yeah. Live albums are like, oh, my God. It's always when you listen to Spotify and all of a sudden it goes to the live section. You're like, God, please don't, like, fucking Judas Priest live. I can't listen to that. It's really hard to nail a uh, live album. Right. But, you know, but right. you know what? What, like, uh, uh, on Tuesday, Emma Ruth Rundle. Do you know Emma Ruth? Emma Ruth Rundle, no? Uh, American solo show. Uh, I wanted to interview her, but she couldn't make it anyways. I'm going to her show anyways. But she has a live album. And what makes it special is between the songs she talks and between the songs she talks to the audience, right? And in those moments when she talks to the audience, how important it is to her to perform live from that audience, that makes it special. You know, right, like it, right. it's not even like the, the music, I mean, it's great, but altogether the experience, how she feels at that moment, those people right. and why she's playing there. That makes it like a super nice live ball. Right, right, right. So for me, it's like I, I, I never cared about live albums, honestly. But when I heard this, like just a couple of days ago, it's like, oh, I didn't even know that you can go so deep with that stuff. How funny. Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm more of the, the, the moment is now and then it's gone. You know, it's like you keep putting the album on. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is again. You know, I mean, I just feel like whatever happens, happens at a show, and that's for the people that came to the show, you know what I mean? That's just me. I mean, like, why we were all about the, the Peel Sessions style things, because growing up as a kid, when I listened to Peel Sessions, I'm like, man, these bands are fucking good, you know? Like, like just right in the studio, just go for it. You know, KEXP does the same thing. Oh, they're great, especially on yeah. YouTube, when you can even watch it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's great. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's, so it's that's, amazing. That was the goal of our album. And I don't want to bore people with like the stupid shit I say every night because you never know what I'm going to fucking say too. I don't know what I'm going to fucking say. Well, today you said like uh, everything is all right. I mean, I mean, uh, it's like, no, 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 because, because one of the questions was like, uh, I mean, because you have a nice show, you know, what's the name, the name of your synthesizer organ instrument? Farfisa. Huh? Farfisa. Because this synthesizer, oh, right <laughs> because this synthesizer gets so abused. That Oh, it's, I know. I, you know, like I've seen it being bumped left, right, up, down in all kinds of positions, like a Kama Sutra of organ playing, man. I've probably owned 60. Yeah, yeah. But first of all, great tech because it keeps, it's like, it's, it's not getting broken down, I guess, right? The bass player, he keeps it working for me. Really? Yeah. Before it was me, but now I did. It stays with him. Do you practice? live show at home alone you know like the, the moves and stuff for you everything is live no no that's no, experience it's us having fun together that's, experience that's alive. having fun i mean i thought so you don't look like like i, like I really like these guys i care about them you know i've been playing for a long time i know and uh they're just the the dynamic is amazing with these guys you know like i've i've had more than 20 people in the lords yeah i know i checked that i've yeah. seen in the beginning it was five then okay yeah like one one year I'm like, oh, this is the best. And then every year it just gets better. You know, like these guys are really good. I, I've been telling them, I've been thinking about retiring and then they get really upset. And they're like, don't do it. And I'm like, well. But retiring because you're feeling old or what? Or it's just yeah, a, creative I just a, a creative thing? I just don't want to be a fucking idiot up there. You know what I mean? I, I, I just like, how, how long can you continue high energy? I mean, yeah, Iggy Pop, the cramps, right? Lux. Lux died at 61, so I saw his last show, and uh, I saw a lot of Iggy Pop, you know, and he, he's killing it, but I mean, he writes songs that people like, I don't write songs that people like, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, they're, well, that's what I figure out by doing interviews with musicians, you know, like, it's not that your songs are worse or better than others, it's just who you are and the general feel it's like aligned or not you know at some point you know everybody's like super talented it's just sometimes it just matches like so perfectly like an Iggy pop or somebody's like place well Iggy pop was a place in time right i mean place in time. i mean fucking mc5 and exactly yeah john sinclair the white panther party all of it that was like a movement that was like you know fuck you to the hippie you know 
basically. Well, you're also doing that in a way. Yeah, but no one cares anymore. It's like, it just, it's more like, give me my money, put me on fucking YouTube or fucking, uh, what is that thing, TikTok. Yeah, just, just my, my 15 minutes of fame of reality TV and whatever else. It's okay, I'm not angry about it. I mean, it's just life. I mean, it's, it's the evolution of everything, right? I mean, I'm stuck in a world, it's just because I'm a fan of music. I'm a big, big fan of a, a certain era of music that not everybody likes. So therefore, I mean, I feel bad sometimes. I, you know, we play shows, like, you know, like these like garage punk shows, you know, like psychedelic shows. And we're like, we're like the mean punk rock, like sleazy metal guys that are going to beat up these poor kids. You know what I mean? It's just funny to me. I mean, that, that's just the energy of like, your Vox guitar up here, your stripy shirt. I know, I know, you know. do I? <laughs> yes, I know. We like the Beatles, but we say, you know. No, I think right now we need musicians like you more than ever. We got the Melvins. <laughs> I can play it. I love the Melvins, actually. Oh, the Melvins, yeah. But what I mean is like, like because you're not the only one who's feeling it. Like there's something, there's something that's weird about it, you know? So there are a lot of people who need music like yours and musicians like you to feel complete, let's say like this, right? No, I because appreciate they, that. Because they also, like, I also see like, okay, this TikTok stuff, like, I, give me something like, like, give me like nice, juicy rock and roll feel, you know? Yeah, yeah, some substance. No, I agree. It's just, I agree. okay, the, audi the audience shrank down, right? Mm -hmm. But still there's, I mean, you've seen it today, you know, like we have fans, we have, say hello. Hi. We have groupies. <laughs> So, you know what it, 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 I think about this all the time you know like we had like like real strong eras of music we don't have those anymore for whatever reason I mean yeah I mean it's it just died but what? What? people like to say rock and roll died but it's it's just like it shrink down yes like you said it just got quieter and a little bit smaller but there are a lot of people out there they still love it and it doesn't mean like it's dead I don't think it's dead, it's just got washed, like watered down by all the other stuff, you know. There's so much stuff in the world right now. Absolutely. That, that everybody it's, knows everybody now. Everybody knows everybody. Well, kind of. I kind mean, of. I came here and I knew you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it crazy? Like, you're from Los Angeles, I'm from, from New York, um, Vienna, and I knew you right away. It's just yeah. like the... Awkward. <laughs> Seeing it smaller, but it's not dead. Yeah, so in a way, in a way, it got more difficult, but at the same time, there's more demand, which is like per like oxymoron, paradoxical thing. I believe the problem right now is to find the right people that dig your music and new stuff. That that's as hard. Yes. Yeah. Once again, I just follow the path. Of, of being a fan, you know, but I feel like there's no more headliners. Pretty much, I agree. No more Ramones, no more Cramps, no more Stiff Baders, you know what I mean? Brazier. 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 Like, like this, this was monumental for us. Why do, every night we go to a club and every night you hear Sonic Reducer or, I mean, you know, the Ramones are like fucking nursery rhymes now for children, you know what I mean? Yeah, like we had... We get the highs for a minute, we get the white stripes for a minute, and then we get Ty Seagal for a minute, but it's not even that big, but you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's not, not nobody like super influential at the moment. So what do we have now, you know? Like, like we don't have anything that's permanent or long lasting, long lasting that, that, uh, we have like that pop. era's over, you know? I mean, we have pop stuff, Maybe a little bit of rock, but it turns into pop immediately. Yeah, Machine Gun Kelly, I can't wait. Maybe some riffraff or some, I don't know, fuck. I remember when, as soon as Machine Gun Kelly went pop, I thought, like, okay, not pop, pop, uh, pop punk, right? Everybody oh. were playing with the idea of pop punk. And that's just painful. That's and, fucking painful. Like, yeah, like and, Blink-182 and, and, and shit. Everybody, Miley Cyrus, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, and the, uh, uh, what's the other name, guys? Uh, anyways, everybody were playing with, and then it slowly died down. I don't know where it's at. The warp tour ended. Yeah. A anyway. So okay, uh, we need to like finish it sometime. <laughs>
I mean, I mean, it's really great, but I need to let you like do your stuff. You've been only here three and a half hours. <laughs> What's the plan for the Lords at the moment? The plan, yeah. Well, there's been a discussion of、uh, disillusion, but、uh, new album, no ending. Ending. Yeah, we'll see.、Um, Depends on your physical. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be like, oh, poor me, but you know, like I'm not young anymore, and I'm also like. What What's the hardest part? Touring, or is it writing in the same energy? Health. Health. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, and just I know I know the story every single day. Every day I know the story. I know from start to finish. I've been doing this for fucking thirty two years. You know. Have、and、you tried the same story? Have you tried changing it some some way? Yeah, yeah. I wish I knew the solution. I mean, that's 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 the problem. I mean, we have conversations about this all the time as a band. You know. I mean, like I said, I I. Adore these guys. I don't want to be like separate these guys and then me, but we are a band. I mean, we're a fucking gang. That's how I see it, you know. And they're loyal as fuck. And I just,、uh, yeah, the future. I don't know. I mean, does does anybody need another Lords record? You saw eight of them were sitting out there already, you know. I think. Well, at the moment, you're having the classic artist dilemma. Does anybody <laughs> care or not? No, it's not even that. Because it's no. I know. I know. I know. I know. But one of this. Points is that you, you, you do, of course. But yeah, it's a legit question. Yeah, of course. How can, how long can you make it? But at the same time, Rolling Stones can do it for a long time, and not a problem. But they wrote songs that people like. Yeah, it's your artistic、uh, self-deprecation. No, you know, I, I write songs that that I fucking like. If you like them, it's even better. But if you don't like them, you know, you, yeah, yeah, most people can fuck off. You, too, the, you know, but you, you write the music that you like. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. But it, for me, it's just the reality. I mean, it's not painful to me. Oh my God! Please love my songs. I mean, the, if you like them, cool. If you don't, I like them, cool. You know. Sometimes I don't like them, but most of the time I like them. If I spent money on recording, <laughs> no. But I, I wish I, I wish I had some big positive answer about it. But yeah, we'll probably make another album. You know. Are you excited for a new album? <laughs> you know it. So yeah, I'm of course, always. I just I just recorded an album with another band I've been playing with since I was a kid, and that one. What's well, the name of the band? Promote the band. The band, band. called the Bomboras, and then I'm about to record another album with、uh, a project band. So I'm still doing stuff. Okay, so okay, the, okay, so the problem is not that you can't make stuff. <laughs> like my therapist. <laughs> you know how many times people told me during these interviews? You know. But it's not a problem that you're creatively on, on, on the bottom. No, it's just the music genre and this kind of music that you're playing with the Lords demands a little bit of a different type of personality. And you see that you are a little bit not in that way, maybe like not not in that state, maybe. Or you just creatively want to try. You want to do different kind of music because. It's highly possible that you will make more stuff with your other bands, and then you will come back to the Lords because you need to come back and forth. You know. I'm really into rap. Hip hop, rap, rap, gift rap. Really. <laughs> I can't. Jesus, rap. I just said gift rap. You know, presents for Christmas. You know. <laughs> I thought I thought like like a kebab keb rap. Oh,、uh, like, like DD King. <laughs> I was thinking like food rap. No, you know what? That there's there's a good possibility we record again. These guys are fucking amazing and efficient. I, I mean, as far as like, yeah, I, I don't know. I... All right, so let's 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 leave it to the open question. You know, like we don't know. It's highly possible that you will record, but seeing in your eyes, I see that you can still. It's just you're, you're like, okay, thinking about it. If I can, if I can't, not. So, so, but I mean, we do have another tour. I, I'll be back for another 22 shows.、So. When is the next tour? October. October. Also Austria. Also. No, no. Like a lot of France, Scandinavia, Germany. Oh, each time you need to find a new、uh, city, and then come back after like you need to.、Uh, like, yeah. Well, we were gonna. I was gonna go home for Halloween and、uh, do some shows because this band I play in do the Halloween shows. But who knows? All right. 
Jake, I don't want to bother you too much. We've been already talking about, about this for like half an hour more than I expected. So, what song should I put at the end of this interview of, of uh, Lord of the Outer Mountains? Lust for Life? Oh, wait, wrong band. No, wrong band, man. No, no, your band. A good introduction to your band. Wow, today or from the start? See, I do have to say one thing. You know, I mean, you really got to put it into consideration. I started this band when I was fucking 25. 1999. I'm 51 now. 2023. I'm an old fart. I'm an old timer. I'm an old timer. What was that? Sorry. Damn, I want to take your drugs. <laughs> what kind of drugs are you using? <laughs> Dear Lord, amen. You know, you know. Go back to Jesus. You know, like I interview a lot of musicians, same thing. Everybody looks so young and everybody's ask, like, like asking like, what the fuck? I'm like, it's obvious. They're doing the stuff that they love. Rock and roll, yeah. Definitely. Yes. No, 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 but really, like, the, everybody, like, Melvin's, they look amazing. Yeah, I guess we are. You do look amazing. Look like 51. Uh, you look younger than my mother. Uh, uh, see, I could have went to school with your mom. I could have went to school with your mom. Oh, that makes it much creepier. <laughs> Perfect. I love creepy stuff like that. <laughs> Anyways, I forgot what we were talking about. But... Put a baby no, I'm just kidding. I'm just. I'll cut it out. I couldn't hear. I'm... I also couldn't hear, but it, it, the, the recorder picks it up. I would listen in on the recording. Anyways, potential. Oh, yeah. Song that we will need to put at the end of the interview. Laws of the Outer Mountains. Old, older or newer? I mean, Doesn't matter. Good introduction. Split. What's the, the biggest, biggest hit? The Split. The Split, yeah? First song okay. we ever wrote. But it, it defines the band from start to finish, for sure. All right. Say the title of the song. With emotion and attitude, Miles Davis style. Miles Davis song? No, 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 Miles Davis style. <laughs> just say, like, no, 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 no I'm, jo I'm joking. Just, just right. say the title of the song with, them, uh, with attitude. Yeah, yeah, The Split. Perfect. The Split! Perfect. That's it. Thank you very much. This is fun.